Hey Cancerians, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ana Eilina. We're going to tap into some love messages for you guys. Please do me a favor and hit the like button. I do appreciate that. And subscribe if you feel called to, all right? I'm still working on the website. Um, in the meantime, if you want to book a personal reading, go ahead and email me at tarotmanaeilina at gmail.com, all right? I'll get right back to you and then also let you guys know as soon as the website's done, okay? All right, let's go ahead and tap into your messages, Cancerians. Please don't try to force any message. Just take what resonates. Honor your higher self. Trust your own intuition above any and all else, okay? Thank you. Oh, look at you coming out as love. All right, here's an affirmation for that if you want to um, use it. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things, okay? I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So it's like a perspective shift there. Um, let's see who we are connecting to for you today, Cancerians. I feel this love energy. I don't know. Wow, what a contrast. And then we have loneliness. I know that I am never alone. Okay. So you come out as love. This person, whoever we're connecting to for you, comes out as loneliness. Hmm, okay. I'm hearing filling a void. I'm hearing that already. Okay, so some of you, maybe you feel a void for this person. Um, I'm seeing somebody drinking, like I'm seeing somebody drinking, like with a bottle in their hand on a couch or something like that in front of a television. Um, okay, so maybe you could be somebody's like, you know, um, companion right now, like a companion. Companion seems like the right word there. Uh, OMG, yeah, you come out as the moon. You're so showing up so purely in your energy right now, okay? Like, yeah, you are in your feminine vibe, male or female, period. It's like you're really tapping, tapping, excuse me, into your nurturing, into your empathy, your sympathy, your compassion. Wow, it's very, very nurturing energy. That's what I felt when I started like pulling your cards. Okay, we have the eight of wands here. Okay, some of you could be uh, connecting with a Sagittarius here. All right. Okay, seven of cups. <clears throat> The Ten of Wands. Okay, yeah, this person has a lot going on. They have a lot of, like, burdens or emotional burdens or just a lot of shit going on. They do show up as the Eight of Wands, too. This could be somebody who maybe is just, like, constantly busy on the go, which is interesting because they have the loneliness card out here. So this could be somebody who, yeah, like, they have a lot going on, but they don't really necessarily have people that are super close to them. They don't really connect with people you know what I'm saying? Like that closely, but I, I feel that, I don't know, connection they have with you. Now with the 10 of wands here, I will say this person is starting to feel like they are burdening you with their energy. And I will say you are kind of feeling like the seven of cups here. Okay. So I, I, I feel like there maybe could be a little bit of confusion or doubt seeping in, uh, possibly for you. Okay. We'll get some more clarification on that seven of cups. Okay. The Three of Pentacles, okay, <clears throat> the King of Swords. Ah, Cancerians, you need to watch your general reading because there was something about like a connection missing that passionate aspect. Like it had the King of Pentacles energy in it. It was very reliable, stable. It's going to show up. It's going to be there for you in, in the, those physical ways, but it felt like you were missing some type of passion. And I see what you want here is the king of wands. Now, if that's not a whole completely different person, okay, because it is a court card, then I do feel like it's a certain energy that you are looking for, okay? It feels like this person is literally looking for the same thing, the knight of wands, passion, okay? Ooh, okay, but there's a different spirit is saying, especially with you are showing up as the king of wands, okay? This is very mature. The king of wands is steps miles ahead of the knight of wands. And I think the big difference between those energies is that the knight of wands is very much so more impulsive, okay? They're going to like act on their impulse, whether it's quote unquote good or bad, like whether it's, you know, they have to pay for the consequences later. Whereas the king of wands, I feel like has the ability to visualize what he wants, he or she wants, right? Because it's an energy, excuse me. And then execute it in their mind first, because that's how I work, uh, you know, and that's a fire energy. See it in your mind first, see it, the whole plan, going through the whole plan and then like executing it. Okay. Um, and so I feel like there is a difference there. I feel like you're looking for maybe a bit more 
matureness in that energy. Okay, I'm hearing jackrabbit too. Maybe it has something to do with intimacy, okay, and, and connecting deeper intimately with this person, okay? Um, Spirit, can we go ahead and clarify that seven of cups? Okay, yeah, the lovers. Some of you are dealing with the Gemini here and the world. Okay, so yes, this I feel like this is deep for you, Cancer, because it feels like, well, where's this going? You know, um, and I think that maybe where you saw this going at one point in time with the seven of cups, it could be changing for you. That's why I want you guys to really check out your general read. I know readers say that all the time, but because the energies do connect like that and there was something about doubt. You know, having some doubts and I, I often feel with the seven of cups, sometimes it can be illusionary. It can be diluting. So it can make you kind of turn a blind eye or kind of skew your perspective. So you don't have to acknowledge certain things that are screaming at you. But I feel like is definitely reaching that point where you're not going to be able to ignore what you're feeling. Yes. The ten of cups here coming out with the world. Okay. Something is changing about what really makes you happy. Excuse me. Maybe you are maturing. Okay. And oh, okay. Let me pause so I can connect that. Okay. You are changing and you are evolving. Okay. And how you love and how you want to be loved. Okay. So it's like with you showing up literally in the energy of love and this person showing up in loneliness, like already there, there is a disconnect. Okay. So let's just go ahead and thank you, spirit. The hangman in reverse. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces here. Okay. Okay. In the page of wands with the king of cups. Okay. So some of you feel like you could be dealing with somebody who I think, you know, I feel like this person, maybe they could lack uh, self-awareness to a certain extent, because honestly, what this gives me is somebody who uh, feels like they, who, who, who acts like they know more than they really do. Okay. Especially I feel like with the hangman in reverse, they haven't sat long enough to receive the enlightenment that the hangman does, because that's why he's sitting there, right? I mean, this is in reverse. Yours came out in reverse, but if it's upright, that's why the hangman is there because he's gaining enlightenment. Okay. He's not just sitting there procrastinating or pretending, right? That would be the hangman in reverse, I feel. Okay. The hangman upright is is trying to gain enlightenment. You know, it is, he's waiting. He's not procrastinating, you know? And a lot of times the crown chakra is illuminated on those hangman cards. Okay. <clears throat> so it feels like either this person is not receiving really really tapping into the enlightenment you know that like they could be and i don't know if that is intentional they're doing that consciously right or if it's somebody who is like because there are people like that who legitimately are like yeah i know that i know certain things and, and you're like but that's not that's not the concept like that's not how it goes you know and they want to swear up and down like no that that's it you know it i'm not going to lie and i'm not calling this person that but it gives like fake deep you know like somebody who tries to feel like they have to have like certain conversations like say for instance and this is just an example you're into like esoteric knowledge and things like that right and you know it's just something you're interested in you talk about it a lot you know a lot about it and this person maybe wants to connect with you in that way and so they try to act like they know so much about it you know but you can tell from the stuff that they're saying that it's really surface level and they haven't really gotten in that deep into it and you know they kind of are just regurgitating things that they've heard about this subject that's what that feels like and it feels like maybe you could deal with that for some time I feel like you put up with it honestly for some time but Cancerians I feel like um your true nature is coming out you came out as the moon and I feel like you know love is changing for you love is changing for you and that doesn't mean that this person has to get the boot right I mean that's completely up to you but I do feel like you have to acknowledge how you feel or what you're not feeling. 
Okay, so um, I just want to get a couple more clarifications here as well as this person's intentions moving forward. If we can, Spirit, thank you. Ten of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles here. Okay, Six of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. This person does feel like you have been very, very patient with them. Very, very patient with the Knight of Pentacles here. Okay, and like I said, they are starting to feel like they are becoming a burden on you, like it's heavy or something. Okay. Page of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. This person holds back a lot. This person holds back a lot. They might come off as like very emotionally uh, detached. The Justice card. Some of you are dealing with the Leo or a Libra here as well. Ah, some of you, I don't know. Could this person be going through uh, some type of legal thing as well, okay, that you could be supporting them through? Okay, some of you, that could be the case. Yeah, page of wands, queen of wands, because I don't know, this is coming up as like the problem, one of the problems between y'all. It's like this person might be having to communicate with someone else in their life or in their past, you know, um, maybe do due to some type of legality or something like that. And I don't know if that's causing strain on you guys. Okay. I would not be surprised if this was like an ex wife, ex husband type of thing, you know, and there's some sorting out of affairs. I'll get the last clarifier on that. Yeah. Temperance here. In the page of cups mm -hmm. with the ace of wands i feel like for some of you this person maybe is wrapping up some things that are you feel kind of holding you guys back i don't know from like getting closer okay because this person just kind of seems a little tapped out if i'm being honest Think about that king of swords spirit yeah, the three of swords. This person is pretty tapped out. King of swords, three of swords here. <clears throat> Judgment and the two of pentacles. They're back and forth. They're, they're back and forth. This person, it's like the, this person is not grounded. That's what I'm feeling like. Uh, this could be somebody who is in survival mode for whatever reason. A lot of times when we are in survival mode, fight or flight mode, hustle mode, um, it's hard to ground. It's hard to, you cannot, you cannot access these other chakras healthily in a healthy way if your root chakra is not planted, grounded, and you feel safe in your world and secure, you know. And this is clarifying a masculine energy. It doesn't have to be, but, you know, it is the king of swords out here. <clears throat> okay, yeah. Why, why are they grieving? The page of cups in the death card okay so yeah i'm gonna keep it real it does feel like whatever this is that this person is having to still deal in and communicate with someone it is bringing up uh old feelings for this person page of cups in the death card now what i'm not saying is that your person is you know developing feelings for somebody you know but i do feel like whatever they are dealing with it is bringing up some triggers for them. Page of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Death card here. Yeah, Page of Wands, someone or something that they're communicating about. Okay, so the gag is, and the irony is, they are actually very emotional, very much so. And I feel like that's why you're showing up as the Seven of Cups, because you feel something, right? It's just like with the Seven of Cups, though, it's hard to put your finger on it. Right. Like you put your finger here, then it's like, no, wait, it's there. Then it's like, you know, um, the magician, you like surprise me, you know, is the spark still there? I feel like you have a lot of these questions. I feel like I'm speaking someone's questions out loud. So you're dealing with a Gemini Taurus Libra. The Empress and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, this gives me like you don't treat me like you used to or like you don't treat me like how when we first met. And... Clarify the Knight of Wands, please. The Five of Wands. The Hierophant. 
and the Eight of Swords. Why is this person feeling that Five of Wands spirit? Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't even need clarification. Thank you so much, spirit. Yeah, okay, Ace of Cups on the bottom. All the clarification I need it. Okay, there's something else coming up here as well, okay? Now, remember when I talked about you're changing, Cancer, okay? As far as how you love and how you want to be loved. So maybe how this person used to love you or has been loving you up to now was okay. But like I said, the, like you keep getting the same message. Something was okay up until a certain point. Why? Because you are growing, evolving, and changing. And so now something has to grow evolve and change with you to match you and this feels like this person's way of what they think is passionate is the knight of wands five of wands it's it gives like makeup sex you know it gives like let's yell at each other and then make up and then that's the passion you're not into that anymore that's tiring for you. You're not into that anymore. Like I said, you want it in a more mature way. You still want the passion, the love, the connection, the deepness of it all. But you want the king of wands with that magician pair. Get creative. Take me on a painting date. You know, you know, yeah, let's have a date where we like answer some deep ass questions or something. You know, I just feel like your your soul, your heart is yearning for more cancerians and i hope this person can give it to you you know or i hope that you allow the universe to you know bless you with that okay Attentions for cancerians. thank you the four of swords okay and the two of swords so i being honest it feels like this person is still going to be very inactive four of swords it, it kind of gives you know still detached um and the two of swords here yeah very much detached very much so like in their head if they work a lot very much so sleeping <laughs> literally resting in the bed i feel like that's the opposite of what you want right now but we're gonna pull some guidance for you too of course king of cups here the high priestess okay and the six of wands so you're dealing with the piscean energy going to do the emperor here in the four of cups yeah and the devil cancerians that really does feel like i don't know i don't know if this person gets mad that you want yeah a certain type of love or that that the love that they used to give you is not good enough anymore okay but that's what that feels like the emperor four of cups okay it's almost like somebody could be could pull back yeah, the devil and the ten of swords because not that they don't want to give you something or, you know, invest in whatever it is, but because they're super sensitive and they just can't show that. So when you say, I want more, I want more passion, it actually hurts their feelings. Not that you shouldn't voice that, okay? It actually hurts their feelings, the emperor, the four cups, and they're like, but then I won't give you anything right that's that loneliness okay because somebody feels really lonely inside and like i said in the beginning though your energy comes off like oh they're so loving it's so big it's so encompassing um i think this person's kind of gotten used to that and attached to that but but they've not yet had to match that and i think now your your soul your spirit your higher self is requiring that so What's the guidance for Cancerian spirit? Four of swords in reverse. The high priestess here. And the ten of pentacles. Why is the queen of swords in reverse though? Ah, okay. But clarify, please. Okay. And the eight of swords. I thought so. And the star on the bottom. So the only way that there's going to be change in here, okay? Queen of Swords in reverse, Eight of Swords, you know, get out of your head about having standards and, you know, really, I won't say demanding, but 
voicing what your standards are, what you want from someone, because what that looks like is you might get a little um, afraid to enforce those boundaries or enforce like what you require. Okay, and like what you need. And I feel like maybe because it deals with the swords and it's more mental, it's more like methodical and like practical versus where you naturally operate from, which is your heart space. All right. And so I feel like spirit's kind of asking you to, yeah, balance that out a bit. It's okay. Don't don't carry guilt with that. All right. So what's your last card? Serious. You have the full moon in Taurus. I mean, you're definitely dealing with the Taurus. And it says detoxify. I think toxic is the is the key word there. Detoxify. And that's what you're doing. Like I said, what used to move you, it does not move you anymore. All right. It's more deeper and intricate and complicated as we are. As we are, as humans with emotions, feelings, and then add that on top of connecting with another human with their own emotions and feelings and right. All right. So that's all I have for you, Cancerians. I love you guys. I pray these messages find you well. Please do me a favor and hit the like button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.